<laughs> I love tanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tank Driver Dave. Well, you know, I'm not a real tank driver, but the real tank drivers have agreed to let me pretend for the day so that you and I can learn about tanks and other military vehicles and how they work. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Look at this baby. This is beautiful. It's so big, too. It's an M1A1. I know all about it because I read about it on the internet. I know everything there is to know about this tank. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. It's Tank Driver Dave reporting for duty, sir. Can't wait to get my hands on the steering wheel of this baby. At ease, Dave. <laughs> well, you know there's no steering wheel on an M1A1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that. All right, let's go over here and get your special assignment. <laughs> okay, sir. Yes, sir. No steering wheel. They don't have a steering wheel. Look how many. Oh, how do they steer it? <laughs> Mm. Rule number one there, tank driver Dave. Never walk underneath the gun tube. You might knock, your, knock some sense in your head. Yes, you sir. I, that. I won't make that mistake again, sir. Outstanding. Huh? All right, let's go over here. i brief you. Huh? All right, this right here is the M1A1, main battle tank. I need you to safeguard this as if your life depended on it. As if my life depended on it. Now, this thing has been upgraded with top secret gadgets. Top secret gadgets. <laughs> now. The president is depending on you to guard it. The president is depending on me. <laughs> now, tomorrow morning, my tank crew will be here to take this tank, and we'll, off, we'll take it over to the ship, and it'll be out of your hands. OK. <laughs> now, I need you to take these binos right here, Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be able to uh, guard the perimeter. Yes, sir. Thank you, All sir. Right. You can count on me, sir. The president can count on me, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, this is this is so much fun. All right, uh, carry on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, boy, the president is counting on me. <laughs> I'll protect this tank, all right. Nobody's gonna get their hands on this tank while Tank Driver Dave is watching it. <laughs> all is quiet with Tank Driver Dave in charge. <laughs> hey, while we're just hanging out here, what do you say we take a closer look at the tank? <laughs> M1A1, like I told you before, weighs 69 tons. Now, that's heavy. These tracks alone on each side weigh two tons apiece. Now, this is just like a bulldozer. It allows it to go just about anywhere. See these little rubber things here? If those get worn out, you can change them, just like an old tire. Come on back here. Look at this. This is a big sprocket, just like you have on your bicycle. Only this one, instead of being hooked to a chain, is hooked to the track. And this turns when the motor goes, and it, it pulls the big track around, woom, 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 and makes the tank go. And to turn it, one track goes faster than the other one, or maybe backwards. And that makes the tank go backwards and forwards, and this way and that way. <laughs> Has a tail light just like a car. Whoa! This is you could you could roast marshmallows here. This is where the engine is in there. It's a big turbine engine, kind of like a jet engine. It's very hot. In fact, this gets up to 700 degrees when it's running, and it gets 1,500 horsepower to push this big tank along. And guess what? It'll burn on anything from kerosene to jet fuel because sometimes when you're in other countries, fuel is hard to come by. <laughs> Armor plates along the side. Look at these. They're almost two inches thick. That's because there's a fuel tank in there with more than 500 gallons of fuel, plus the driver's there, and you got to protect him, that's for sure. So how do you get on a tank? Kind of like getting on a horse. Look at this. Put your foot right in there. Look at this. This is a grenade launcher. <laughs> they launch smoke grenades that create a wall of smoke, and the tank can actually hide behind it so the bad guys can't see it. This is where they mount a machine gun. An even bigger machine gun goes here. And this is the turret. This goes all the way around. Has the big gun on the front, 120 millimeters. Oh, it's big. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Look at this. This is called the gunner's doghouse. It's where he aims the big guns. It's actually a periscope, so he sits down below and can see up here. And look at the colored glass. It's laser shielded, just like in Star Wars. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> look at this. This is where the driver sits on the tank. And I figured out why they don't have steering wheels, because they have one of these. It's, uh, well, it's kind of like riding a motorcycle or, or a bicycle, because it, it steers like this. That controls the tracks forward and backwards and turns the tank. And then and this is just like the throttle on a motorcycle. 
And this is a shifter right here. Forward and reverse. Forward and reverse. Down there, there's a brake pedal, just like in a car. And there's all kinds of controls and cool stuff in here. Look at all these gauges here. I wonder what that does. I better not. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at all this cool stuff. This is the seat where the head guy is. He's the commander, and he tells everybody else what to do. He's got his own periscope, and he actually has his own smaller turret. This actually turns, and he can aim the little gun up there, not really little, 50 caliber, and control it from right here. Boom, 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 boom. Over here on the left side is where the loader sits. Now, what's the loader do? <laughs> You're pretty smart. He loads the ammo into the big gun. But where does he get it? behind that safety wall there. To open it, you push this lever here with your knee. It opens up, pull the ammo out, and put it in the big gun right over there. And he's also responsible for the radio communications. That's located back there. <laughs> There's so much cool stuff in here, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, this is a tight squeeze. Hardly even room for me. This is the part below the doghouse where the periscope comes down. This is where the gunner sits, and he controls the movement of the turret and also the up and down motion of the uh, of the big cannon. Okay, and this is where he does it right here. He looks through this hole here, and that's where he aims the big gun. <laughs> and then you just push this button here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I'm really in trouble now. I gotta get back to guarding this tank. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello, sir. Eddie's Dave. Was that you that just fired off this main gun? Sir, uh, yeah, kind of it was, but I, I was just demonstrating how the, the thing works, you know, and I, I accidentally, I didn't even know it was loaded. Stop! Yeah, I, I... Stop! Get down and give me 50. Yes, sir, thank you, sir. Dave. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to give you one last chance to guard this tank. Now, my man will be here in the morning to take it out of here and send it to the front. You understand? Yes, sir, I will. I'll never do that again. This is your post. I need you to man it as if your life depended on it. Yes, sir. All right, carry on. actually going over this, are we? Wait, 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 wait for just a minute here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> this baby could use some softer suspension, I think. <laughs> yeah, for sure on that. Whoa. Oh, look at this baby go. Wow. She gets up and moves, that's for sure. But hey, wait a minute, slow down. <laughs> Better hold on to my hat. Whoa. Yes, sir. I'm a real tank driver now. Yeehaw! <laughs> the tank! Where'd the tank go? I know. Secret enemy agents are coming in the middle of the night and taking the tank. And this was my last chance. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble now. If I follow the traps, maybe I can find it. Am I gonna let down the President of the United States? Now, 
see now, if I was a secret agent, where would I hide an M1A1? I gotta find my tank. Well, there's a tank. <laughs> well, wait a minute. This isn't my M1A1. I know what this is. I read about it in the history books. It's an M4 Sherman tank. It was used in World War II. Hey, look at this. This is one of the very first tanks. It was really small, and it didn't have very big guns. But it did protect the soldiers inside, and it did have tracks like a bulldozer, so it could go places other vehicles couldn't. Look at this old tank. It looks like a big bug with guns. Well, they may have looked kind of strange, but because of the thick armor and the tracks instead of wheels, they played a big role in supporting our soldiers on the ground. Tank driver Dave salutes the mighty tank. Wow, look at that. I guess you could say we found a herd of Humvee. <laughs> Humvees are the hardest working vehicles in the military. And there's a reason for that. They can be turned into all kinds of different things, just like that. This is an ambulance Humvee, for instance. Here's a, a troop transporter Humvee. You just load the guys in the back, and you can drive them around. Here's one that can be used just to get around, and also as a radio communications vehicle. Oh, they're cool. Humvees are special because they're high off the ground, they're four-wheel drive, and they're wide, so they won't tip over. Over. And guess what? <laughs> they even have bush guards on the front. And if we open the engine, ah, we can see that it's a great big diesel engine. Boom, 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 boom. Big and strong to drive the, the Humvee through the creeks and the deserts and everywhere. And they're special because you can go through water with them. Water almost up to here, and the engine will still work because it's got an air intake there that sucks the air in. And then the exhaust, instead of being on the bottom in the back, is on the top in the back. Oh, they're cool. And they'll go just about anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, let's take a look inside. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Inside a Humvee, it's pretty cool, but it's also very, very basic. No frills here, no leather seats. <laughs> to start it, you just turn this. You don't even need a key. There's the horn. <laughs> and, uh, and guess what else? There's a switch right here that turns on little lights on the front. So if you've got night vision goggles on, you don't have to have your headlights on. You can see everything, even though it's dark. Oh, this Humvee's really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Top speed, about 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Humvee stands for High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle. Did you get that? That's High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle. The Humvee is a true four-wheel drive vehicle. It has independent drives on each of its four wheels. The body of the Humvee is made of aircraft aluminum on a steel frame. Oh, it's very strong. Hey, some are even bulletproof. Some Humvees have guns mounted on the top. Look, this one has a surface-to-air missile launcher on its back. Humvees can pull heavy loads, all right. And some Humvees perform as hospital vehicles. Barbed wire fence. Hmm, if I was a secret agent, that's exactly where I'd hide a tank behind a barbed wire. I gotta get over this fence.
guess I needed a shower anyway. No way am I gonna let down the President of the United States. Where can they put that tank? Look at that baby. <laughs> In the Marine Corps, they call that the five ton. It's big and bad, six wheel drive, and it'll haul anything from ammo to supplies to lots of troops. Oh, it's a beauty. Let's go over here and take a closer look at it. Hmm, <laughs> pretty plain inside, no frills there. <laughs> yeah, got the canvas on there pretty good. Five tons are the big daddy of the Marine Corps. They can be transported on airplanes. They can haul lots of troops in the back. And they can sure pull some heavy loads. Sometimes they have machine guns on top. Sometimes they're used to haul ammunition. They can even be loaded onto ships. <laughs> I love the five ton. Hey, hey, stop, stop. Hey, you guys haven't seen an M1A1 uh, around here anywhere, have you? That way. Another tank. This one's the right color, but it's not my tank. I know what this tank was. I read about it in the history books. An M60A1. They used it during Vietnam and up through the 80s, something like that. Oh, I gotta find my tank, though. You know, when you're in the Marines, you gotta move a lot of supplies around from here to there and up and down and everywhere. That's what this is, an EBFL, extended boom forklift. This baby can move practically anything. <laughs> Find that tank. Wait a minute, what's what's that? Whoa! What is that? Wait, whoa! tank, but it's pretty cool. Wow. Check this out. This is the LVS, the Logistics Vehicle System. This is the Marine Corps' big dragon. 
It has eight-wheel drive. Even the trailer has four-wheel drive. Back there's a great big Cummings diesel that can power this big bad boy just about anywhere. And look at this. It's even got a moonroof. <laughs> look at these big wheels. And the steering on this is very special. The front wheels turn like this, and there's a big hydraulic thing back there that pulls it from side to side. The water can come all the way up to here, so it can go through lakes and streams, almost like a submarine. Next to the M1A1, I think the LVS is my favorite vehicle. The LVS logistics vehicle system can come in all kinds of configurations. It can haul ammunition. It can haul fuel. The LVS can go on ships, and it can go on airplanes. No wonder they call it the Big Dragon. I know I can find that tank if I just keep looking. Oh, wait a minute. What, what is that over there? Look at, look at that. Where... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes tanks are dropped from airplanes. Yeah, the big planes fly real low, and the tanks are pulled from the back of the plane by parachutes. They skid to a stop on special platforms designed to protect the tracks. This tank is called Hercules. The boom on the front can lift 35 tons. This is a bridge builder tank. They call it the Wolverine. It can build an 85-foot bridge in just five minutes, and then it can retrieve it again in just 10 minutes. Military tank bulldozers are cool, too. They're used to move dirt, of course, and they also move big container haulers when offloading supplies from ships and trucks. Helicopters are used to move troops, and so are these. These are known as LVTs. Landing vehicles with tracks. It can go on land and on the water. When the LVT goes into the water, the tracks are used to help propel it, and the special water jet on the back helps steer it and drive it through the water. The jet pumps more than 14,000 gallons per minute. Here's another amphibious vehicle. You know what that means. <laughs> You're pretty smart. It means that it can go on the water and the land. These are LAVs, light armored vehicles. They come in all shapes and sizes. They're a lot like tanks, but with one big difference. Oh, 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 you guessed it. They have wheels instead of tracks. The Marines use all kinds of vehicles, some with tracks and some with wheels. Some are big and some are small. Each has a very special job to do. But you know what? I think tank driver Dave still likes the mighty tank the best of all.
I found my tank. Yeah, it's the right one. Oh, 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 oh. oh I found you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> shouldn't have done that. What are you doing, Dave? Sir, sir, please forgive me. I can explain everything. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I was guarding the tank just like you told me to, just like you told me to, and I must have just dozed off for maybe just a second, and the secret agents came in the middle of the night, and they stole the tank, and I don't know how they did it without waking me up, but they stole the tank away. So I went in search of, I got my camouflage on my, my binocs, and these are great binocs. I found so much cool equipment, big stuff, little stuff, everything but the tank, and then finally, I'd just about given up, and there she was, my M1A1. So I, I wanted to give it just a little hug, you know, to say hi to it, and, and when I did, they started it up and I was swinging around in the air and oh, I, I, I don't know. One, she wasn't stolen. My tank crew came this morning and they loaded her up heading for the front. Now, I came here to just personally thank you for your hard work on guarding this vehicle. To thank me? To thank you. To thank me? You. <laughs> for protecting the freedom? For protecting for the, the freedom. For the president of the United States. For the president. And all of America. For everybody <laughs> in America and the Marine Corps. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Semper Fi, Dave, and thank you for your hard work. Semper Fi. All right. Semper Fi. Wait a minute. What, is, what does Semper Fi mean? Semper Fi means always faithful, Dave. Always faithful. Like the Marines. Always faithful. Thank you for your hard work. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, this has been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Thanks for watching. <laughs> From the halls of Montezuma to the, uh, the shores of Tripoli, we will fight our country's battle on the land, the air, and the sea.